Hi everyone, and welcome to Teaching Online Reflections on Practice. My name is Emily McWorthy, and I'll be your instructor for this course. I am an instructional designer in the distance learning department, and I also teach fundamentals of oral communication online. I've been here at Kirkwood since 2008. We've been offering this course to our new distance learning instructors since 2013. Previously, we offered this as an open course on Canvas, and most recently through D2L open courses. Now, we are going to offer this course through KSELT as a self-paced, competency-based offering. Therefore, you can start on any day and complete your work at a pace that is comfortable for you. The class has seven modules. For each module, you'll be asked to review some readings and videos, and then complete a couple of assignments. Some assignments will ask you to view and observe a simulated online course. This course is called Food Photography, and you'll be automatically enrolled in this course. If you don't see it in Talon, you may need to add it to your pinned courses. This is just an example online course, so please ignore any small inconsistencies and really try to focus on the bigger picture, which is demonstrating on how the online course is designed and facilitated. The assignments will ask you to look at specific items in the course. While you're free to work at your own pace, it's recommended that you try to complete at least one module per week to stay on task. Each module should take about maybe two to five hours to complete. When you complete assignments, they'll be assessed using a rubric. The rubric is available to you on every assignment. You'll be assigned one of three levels, needs work, approaching, or proficient. If you do not earn a proficient rating, you'll be asked to resubmit as many times as needed to reach that proficient level. Your work will be returned to you within 72 hours of submission. Please note you do not need to wait until you receive the proficient rating to move to the next module. Feel free to continue working on the course. Module seven is your final project. For your final project, you'll actually build part of your course. Once you've completed the final project at a proficient level, the completion certificate will be released to you. You will continue to have access to this course even after completion. Please let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to working with you.